Hello, uh, so I just spent about 30 minutes finding some sprites online so that we could sort of jazz up the game a little bit to make it look a bit better. Um, so all you can do is go to opengameart.org and you should be able to find sprites that you want on your own that you can add to your own game. Uh, you could also use Google or Dogpal. But so I just added a few to the game and I'm going to sort of show you how that was done. Uh, you should already know uh, how to do it from the previous videos, but it certainly does make it look a lot better. So we just had like little yellow crates before, uh, but we were sort of imagining that we're crates. Now I actually found a sprite that sort of looks like a crate. And uh, these are just walls, which are just like little metal tile sort of thing. Um, I changed the uh, power-up weapons to actually have sort of weapon icons. Uh, and there's also a bunch more like that as well, that we can just easily add items and different attacks into the game. So we ch also changed the coin. So I think that's pretty cool. And I made it so that there's uh, a chance where multiple coins can drop. So I was thinking that I could just uh, maybe add some weapons into the game before I show just how we added those sprites in, where the racks were before. And uh, the items that we add, we can put a few into the shop, a few special items. And either in this video or the next one, we can change our attacks, our power-up attacks and stuff like that so that they're actually good and not just sort of like crappy random attacks happening and stuff like that. So, let's get started. So there's this one um, tile sheet I downloaded off of the open game art and it's for weapons. So one of the attacks we had was set as this one and one is this one. So we could add more um, just to the shop and we could make it so that they're just in the shop and they don't have a chance to drop off anything. We could add like a shield or something that would increase our maximum HP or something like that. So how we did this was we just went to texture, we found our texture off the internet, we dragged it into resources, we then copy and pasted an old texture we changed the name and then we set the resource path and then all you have to do is go to where things are actually dropping so we had a few places where things could drop um, one of them was where we destroyed an enemy so delete enemy and um, all we did was we went pick up one dot sprite dot set texture to the new texture coin and then we had to set the specific texture rect for it and also set the scale so that it matched in with the 32 by 32 that our item drops have. Uh, we did the same thing with all of the other ones. We, we had to specifically declare all this stuff for the unique texture before we pushed it back. So in this case we were using that image I just showed and so I found that uh, to move over on it you need to go 34 pixels so I just went 34 times 3 to access uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 and if we were to put in a different number for X it would be accessing a different sprite image so let's let's go to the I also changed a few things uh, about canceling some recs to not be drawn and to actually show some of these sprites but it's all included in the source code that I'll uh, supply in this video. So don't worry too much, but you can choose any sprites you want and add them to your own game. So you could also set up some floor textures and stuff, which I'm sure we'll be doing soon. So let's go up to the shop and we'll just copy this Nova power up and paste a new one. and we can call this HP up sh 
shield and we can set the cost equal to how about a hundred and then it would be nice if like I was explaining before that we just had um, that we just had a uh, integer values that described whether it was a coin or what type of power up but we're just going to continue doing this until I fix it later um, so we'll go into pickup where is it and we'll go bool is HP shield equals false then go to main And we'll set Nova Power Up equal to false. And we'll set pickup one dot is HP shield equals true. And just so we don't have to change it for all the other ones, we're gonna go because this is a unique item, we're gonna go pickup one dot is HP shield equals false. And we're going to set its location to a different one in the shop as well. Uh, so we'll set its position to this is X so six, six I believe oh no we'll, let's try seven you can always change it and um, we want this shield so I think it was like eight or something over we could take a look zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I like that one so let's do eleven so we have eleven times fifty over no wait uh, that's the wrong spot so we want seven here I'm trying to change these sprite to eleven now the shield should be in the shop and uh, we need to make it so that if we interact with it, um, if we interact with it, that we gain our maximum HP up. So I think that I think we should actually um, move them all over a little bit, maybe by one tile. So in set position for rect, we'll just go six, four and two okay and so if HP shield is true when the player collides with an item So those don't matter, but we are going to go player one dot HP and we will go plus equals 10 and player one dot max HP plus equals 10. So if we have 100 coins, now we should be able to buy that shield that increases our max HP. Uh, and it was just that easy to implement uh, a new item into the game or a new um, thing into the shop. And I think the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our special attacks a, a bit better. So let's just kill this crate. I think we need 100 coins, so... And it was very easy to do the um, three coin option drop. You just had to create um, a larger span of random numbers and then make it so that one of the numbers has uh, three pushbacks of coins, but set them slightly off at like 
5 for x over and then 1 for y over a bit. Okay, so now we should be able to, <coughs> excuse me, go to the shop. And let's try and buy the shield. So we have 135. Now we have um, 35. But it looks like it didn't add it to our max HP. So let's try and figure out why that why that is. So let's go into player.h and we'll set our gill equal to 100 just so that we don't have to kill everything again. And is HP true? Player 1 player 1.hp let's do a c out and we'll just do um, player 1.hp and then we'll do one after as well to see if it changed okay So it looks like it didn't access it properly. HP shield equals true. Is HP shield equals true? And that should be an HP shield. Oh, okay. Stupid mistake. We actually did this if shop is false, but the item is in the shop. So forgive me for that stupid mistake but it's okay you're going to be going through um, problem solving like this all the time <clears throat> so now it should work there we go now we have 2020 so that's pretty sweet so these could, you could also like have those shields drop from like boss monsters or something and uh, you could just keep increasing your max HP after like bosses, after levels and stuff like that or there could be a chance you could have secret areas with items that operate like that. So let's take a look at our, <coughs> lose my voice, our special attacks. So right here we have um, player one power up, the first power up attack. So let's just try and change that a bit and make it a little bit more cool instead of just sort of firing off to the side randomly. Um, <coughs> so we'll say um, if player one dot direction equals one so this is when we are facing up so we'll go control C control V <coughs> and uh, projectile one dot rack dot set position player one dot rect dot get position and we're setting the direction of the projectile equal to player one dot direction um, okay and so we will do the same thing but this time we're going to make it so that because we're firing upwards so we can move over on X by how about to the right first by say 15 and then we'll move 
it upwards, which is negative on y, actually we'll make it we'll make it zero here. So it's not really necessary. But on our middle attack, we'll move it upwards on y by 15 as well. And then we'll add another one. And this time we'll change x by plus 15. And so we should be sort of getting like a little arrow pattern uh, happening. So we're just going to comment this out and we'll try um, firing with that attack, but it'll only work when we're upwards. Let's get the attack, and then we'll just shoot up, see if it works. Oh, yeah, I hit the enemy, that's a problem. You lose it when you get hit. Okay. Let's just spawn in some guys. Okay, let's try it. There we go. So that's a pretty cool attack. It's like a freaking beam. It might be smart to increase the delay. Or we could also have like skills and stuff like that that could make us attack faster and things. So let's do the next one. And I believe two is down. So let's go down. And I think this time it should be plus 15. And yeah, plus 15. And those ones stay the same. So let's just make sure that that worked. Yeah, that worked. Cool. So we'll do the next one. So this is left. And for left, um, our middle attack, it should be um, zero and then negative 15 over to that side and then our Y should be manipulated so we can get rid of this and get rid of this so Y should be negative 15 and positive 15 and then we'll do the right one as well And then all we have to change on this one is that x. So this one is positive because it's to the right. And we should have actually made a special attack now. So let's go in. All right. That's cool. Okay, sweet. So as you can imagine, we could do the same thing for other attacks. We could add um, attacks very easily. Um, this Nova attack, we could change it so that our, um, what is it, the projectile, we could make it so that we can travel out in all directions like this. And I might figure out how to do that and do it in another video. But that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and thumbs up if you learned anything. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time, I guess.